<laughs> we're back. We're going to do a calibration. Uh, we're going to begin by pressing the blue button on the control board. The display now reads whatever it was reading. We're going to step to test modes. Pound is enter. So he's pressed pound. Now he's pressing two until he gets to calibrate. Now the password, all right, we're going to pick up from here. We can't get both the screen and the keyboard in, so here's what we're going to do. Right now the display says password. We're going to enter the password. It's pound three, four, five, six. The first step is cabinet. Now this is the newest software. There's some settings in cabinet. We're going to press pound to enter cabinet. The first step is RVV 500. On the older units, that is what you will select. Uh, your options are 500, press number 2 please. 500 Gen 2, which is any cabinet with the ADA door. And then RVV 300 is a unit sold uh, in Europe or Australia. So we're going to leave it at the RVV 500 since this cabinet is uh, built in 06. We'll press enter and saved. Press number two, we're back to cabinet. Now we'll press number two. The shelves, press pound. We want to verify that there's five shelves in the machine and the control board knows there are five shelves in the machine. Press pound to save it. Shelf one, position one. At this point, we'll close the door, let it home, and then we'll press pound and the gantry will raise to the top shelf. All right, we're at the bottom. Now we're going to the top. What we've got here is an attempt to show you the proper alignment. All right, picking back up, what we've got is a cup is slightly too far to the right. So we're going to use the number four button to bring it over closer. Keep going, keep going. And that's it. What you actually want is the edge of the cup as you're sighting down it like the barrel of a shotgun to line up at the very outer right hand edge of the 1-4 label. What we'll do now is to save that we'll press pound. The display will say saved and then shelf to position one. Press pound. And the cup has now traveled to the next shelf. And as you can see it's way way off. We're pressing the number four to bring it to the right or left. There you go. Too far. Press number six to go back. One more. One more. Very good. Press pound to save it. And then pound to go to the third shelf. Again, we're way off. Whoa, that's good. Press pound to save it. And pound to go to the fourth shelf. All right, here we're too far to the left, so we're going to use the number six to move over to the right. One more time, that's good. Press pound to save that. And now we're going to the fifth shelf. Hmm. We're a little too far to the right. Looks good. Press pound to save it. Now your display is now saying port X alignment. So we're going to open the door. By pressing pound, the cup goes to the delivery position just above the port door. And the thing we're looking for is the gap between the hook that's screwed to the sidewall and the cup itself. So if you'll put a credit card in there, Mr. Han. There we go. That's what you want. The credit card should just go between the hook and the cup. 
a lot of folks get a little confused and they try to move the cup over to align with this position here but that's incorrect you need to bring it all the way into the opening and it fell but that'll do I'll buy dinner with that once you get it to where you want again you'll press number six or number four to move it left or right and then you press pound to save it and that's the end of the calibration if you'll press star twice the gantry will move back to the bottom position three times hit it one more time there he goes and that concludes the calibration